Bella. Let's begin. On your way to the top, you have had to say goodbye to some of your favorite fellow housemates. Yes, big brother. How is life without shags? <laughs> brother, life is boring without shags. <laughs> I mean, like, you don't know what you have until you lose it. So, um, I mean, like, if he was here, I'll be fine. I won't be sleeping, like, even if I'm sleeping, he'll be next, like, right next to me. I've not even had, I've not, I've not eaten today, big brother. I've actually not eaten today. Like, if I was here, it's either I'm, I, I make breakfast or he makes breakfast. But today is that day where I don't feel like entering the kitchen, I don't feel like cooking. Well, he's not here. If he was here, I'm sure he would consider that, like, oh, Bella doesn't feel like cooking. My baby does not feel like cooking. So let me just go into the kitchen and make her breakfast. Unfortunately, he is not here, and I've not eaten. I might not eat, maybe till tomorrow, because I don't feel like entering the kitchen. And these housemates, big brother, they don't, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care about me like that. So yeah, it makes shake so much. Like, you know, if I was here, I would have had breakfast. If I was here, I would have a companion. If I was here, I will have a partner. If I was here, I will have someone I'm closest to. I will have a best friend. And he's my big baby. I call him my big baby. So he's not here and I'm just so sad. I've just been sleeping. I'm just been in bed. Even going to shower was like a struggle. Like I didn't feel like, after the work, I didn't feel like doing anything. I just wanted to be in bed all day. Yeah, if you didn't call me, I would have been in bed all day. So yeah, I don't know how life is without him, but life is definitely boring without him. And I feel like, Yesterday was so long, maybe because he's not here. Yesterday is like the longest Monday I've ever had in this house. And today it seems like even the longest Tuesday we have ever had in this house. I think I've spoken too much, big brother, but yes. Um, life is so difficult without my big baby. And I regret so many things, big brother. I know like... Every, like, there's no perfect relationship and, I mean, disagreements are bound to happen. But just him not being here, him being absent, and just like, I wish we had, like, sweeter days. I wish we, like, we didn't fight a lot or we didn't disagree a lot. I don't know if that wouldn't have been possible because, I mean, it's bound to happen. But I just regret, like, a lot of stuff. I regret a lot of things I said. I regret, um, yeah, I just wish he was here for me to make, like, for me to bond more, bond more with him. But it's unfortunate. But I just hope that when I leave here, we'll be able to sit and talk. I don't even know if he left on a good note. I don't know. I really don't know. But when he was leaving, like, I mean, we hugged and we kissed, so I don't know. Maybe I should even be sitting on this thing, yeah? And why shouldn't you be saying those things in the diary room? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been this open before. And truly, like today, I'm, I don't know. I have just never been this open. So it's like it's something new to me. And how does it make you feel? Makes me feel relieved. I just really need to say that to someone. I just really need to say that to you, big brother. Maybe just no, no one understands. Like, I don't think anyone understands how I feel. I really wish he was here, and I really miss him. Bella. Let's begin. If you could send a message to one important person in your life. Let's be brother. 
Who would your message be addressed to? And what would you say? Lord, I'm so, so glad you asked that question. So yesterday, I was actually like just thinking about, I, I just haven't like, um, I haven't given honor to who honor is due, if that makes sense. So you asking this question means a lot to me, big brother. Um, so I'll be sending a message to my sister, yeah? Um, I was sending a message to my sister. Okay, wait. I don't know how to begin. I'm not like, I'm not a story man at all. And sometimes I can be, but um, I just know how much you like your privacy and I know how much, maybe you wouldn't even want me to be doing this, but thank you so much for, thank you so much for making me who I am today. Thank you so much for For being so kind, being so loving. I mean, you're my sister, you should be kind and loving, but you're just an extraordinary sister. A sister like no other. A sister that may not, like, I've not seen a sister that will do or have done anything you have done. Thank you so much for being so intentional. Thank you so much for loving me beyond my expectation. Thank you so much for bringing this, this girl like this up like this. Thank you so, you made me you have made me look this good, this beautiful. Everything I am is because of you. Thank you so much for, if you didn't bring me up this way, I wouldn't be here. So yeah, I give, I'll always shout out to you. So I'm just giving honor to whom honor is due. Thank you so much. You know how much I love you. Thank you so much for everything you have done, everything you're doing, and everything you're still doing at this point. I know you have had sleepless nights just by me being in here. I see your work, I see everything you do, I see your hands everywhere, but I may not be able to say much, but you know how I feel, you know how we all feel. Thank you so much for everything. I truly appreciate you and Thank you so much for Mona and Kaima. If not for you, we wouldn't have Mona and Kaima. And um, I just, I don't want to cry.